Notability and GoodNotes 5 are both great note-taking apps, but today, let's take a look at five things that GoodNotes 5 does better than Notability. So here we have GoodNotes 5 pulled up, and I've written all five of my points down here, but I'm going to go over and explain every single point. But if you didn't want to listen to my explanation, they're right here for you, so you can just look at it and get everything you need from the video right now. So the first thing that GoodNotes 5 does better is complete ink to shape and snap to other strokes. So what that means is ink to shape is when you draw a certain shape and the software will convert your drawing into a perfect looking shape. So if you click on the ink to shape button here, and then if I draw like a circle or a square or a triangle or a line or any shape, it makes it into a nice shape with a whole bunch of different lines. And what the other feature GoodNotes 5 has is snap to other strokes. So if you click on your ink to shape button here, you can see that there's this option where you can snap to other strokes. And what that means is it'll snap certain strokes together to create one cohesive stroke. So I'll show you what that means because it's really hard to explain otherwise. This is helpful when you really need to make tables. So if I draw a line here and then I just put a line next to it, See, I haven't connected the two strokes, but when I let go, it'll connect them for me. So this is a really useful feature, which Notability does not have. So with Notability, you can draw perfect circles and draw perfect lines, but it doesn't have a dedicated ink to shape feature, but it is supposedly coming out in a, in a new update in Notability 9. So we'll have to see in, if they actually do release that in the official update. Okay, so the second thing that GoodNotes 5 does better is an eraser auto deselect. So you may have noticed that when I'm drawing something and I'm writing and then I want to erase it, I can erase and then let go and it switches back to the pen for me. This is a great feature, especially if you can turn it on or off. So that's really nice because some people don't actually like the deselect. So if you don't want the auto deselect, you can go ahead and just turn that off right there. So if I draw something and then I erase, I'm still on the eraser setting. It doesn't automatically switch back to the pen. Now the eraser feature is also a lot more robust on GoodNotes 5 than Notability in that you can erase the entire stroke if you want, or if you want to turn that off, you can just erase part of the line. So I can go ahead and just erase a little bit, like a regular eraser on pen and paper. So that's a really good feature to have. So Notability in Notability 9 is supposedly coming out with the ability to deselect the entire stroke option, so you can just erase a little bit. But currently, it does not have that. So GoodNotes 5 has the auto deselect and the ability to erase the entire stroke or not. So it one-ups Notability in that sense. Next, we have picture rotation and resizing. So image rotation is something that is supposedly coming in Notability 9, but GoodNotes 5 has it right now. So it's a really useful feature and they have the ability to resize the image which is super helpful and very convenient. So all you have to do is you have to click on this uh, image gallery button here to select an image. It is really tiny when you're selecting it, but you can select a picture here and you see the picture shows up. And then what you can do is you can resize it very nicely. You can rotate it any angle you want and it kind of snaps into uh, 180 degree rotation, so that's very convenient. And then you can resize the width, so you can really stretch it out if you need to, and the height, which is, which this is all features that are not available in Notability right now. And the only feature that is supposedly coming to Notability is the ability to rotate. So you can resize images right now in Notability, but you can't do it with stretching it out by the width and the height. You can only do it by stretching it, by enlarging it, or making it smaller proportionally, which may not be a big deal for a lot of people, but it's nice to have more options. The next feature that GoodNotes 5 does better is the ability to support different paper templates and orientations within the same notebook. So you may have noticed here I have this landscape orientation and it's like a, a yellowish color, but my next page is in portrait orientation and it's a white color. So the really cool thing is with GoodNotes 5 and even GoodNotes 4, GoodNotes has done this for a while, you can import different page templates into your notebook. They don't all have to be exactly the same. So if I want to add another page, I can click on this plus button right here and I can choose any of these templates that I want. And for more templates, I can click on templates to get a complete list. So if I don't want any lines at all, I can just add a blank page right there, 
click apply up here, and now I have a blank page at the end of my notebook. So this allows for a lot more variety and customizing in your own notebook, which is super convenient. The last one I have written here is the ability to line and center type text. So if I wanna add a text box, all I have to do is click on this T right here, and then I can just start typing. So I'll say hello, and then I can expand the text box. And then on the option here where the A is, you have formatting options, and you can center this, put a left, a right, indent, a left indent, or left align, right align. And this is just basic word processing features that you might see in Microsoft Word or in Pages or Google Docs. But Notability doesn't have this function right now. And I'm not sure if it's even coming in Notability 9. It's a really basic function that it, it should definitely exist in Notability, but it's not there right now. And GoodNotes has been doing this even since GoodNotes 4 and maybe even earlier. And a lot of other note-taking apps do this. So it's a really useful feature and props to GoodNotes 5 for maintaining this feature. So those are the top five features, but I had some honorable mentions that I wanted to make sure you were aware of because overall, GoodNotes 5 is a better writing experience than Notability. It has a smoother writing experience and it feels more like paper than any of the other note-taking apps that I've used. And it also has an extremely intuitive file management system, anything that you will see in digital management. So Notability's file management, in my opinion, is really ugly and really hard to use. They're trying to be different, I think, but I really dislike it. But GoodNotes 5 has a very traditional file management system where you can create folders, or and then within the folders, you can have all your different notebooks. So I can create a new folder for my school or for a subject. So if I want to call the subject math, I can have that folder, and then I can easily drag my notebooks into that folder. So if I had like calculus one, calc two, calc three, stats, they can all just be in my math folder. And then I can always drag this out of my math folder by selecting it here and then moving it just back to documents. And then it's back out of the folder. So GoodNotes 5 has been an amazing note-taking app and I really enjoyed it. And I hope that this comparison between five things that GoodNotes 5 can do that Notability can't will help you make a decision between GoodNotes 5 and Notability, keeping in mind that Notability is updated more frequently than other note-taking apps and that the features that I mentioned will be coming in Notability 9. And that's, of, as, that's as of this video. So Notability may be adding more features in the future. You'll just have to wait and find out to see what those are. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.